So let's take this example 2x plus y is greater than or equal to 4. I want to plot this particular region. But to plot this region, I need to first plot the line that is finding the boundary of a particular region. Like how we draw political boundaries of countries, we need to draw a boundary for this region too. So we consider 2x plus y is equal to 4. Now where will this line lie? To draw the line, we need the addresses, the coordinates of at least two points, which can be done by arbitrary substitution. So we can take x as 0 over here. If you put x as 0 in this equation, so you have 2 into 0 plus y is equal to 4, which means y is equal to 4. That means this line will pass through 0, 4. So 0, 4, this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4. So this is one of the points through which the line passes. Let's, so we have taken one value here. Let's take another value for y is equal to 0. If we substitute y is equal to 0, you get 2x plus 0 is 4, sorry, 4, and 2x is hence 4, so x is 2. So this line would pass through 2, 0, that is here. So when you join these two lines, you get a line like this. This is the line that's going to be 2x plus y is equal to 4. And this line is inclined to be both the coordinate axis and it is intersecting both the, both the axis. So we consider 2x plus y is equal to 4 to start with the line. Put in some arbitrary, put take x as 0, find out the corresponding value of y. That will give you the point where the line intersects the y-axis. Take y as 0, substitute over here and that will give you the value or the coordinates of the point where the line intersects the x-axis. Join them and you get the line, corresponding line. So this becomes a boundary of the region 2x plus y greater than 4. Now, how do we find, now this line is going to divide the entire graph sheet into two parts. One is to the left, one is to the right. One region contains the, the origin 0, 0 and the other region does not contain the origin. The non-origin region, that is this side, will satisfy this condition. And this region would be 2x plus y is less than 4, the region which does not contain the origin is 2x plus y greater than 4. But when we are talking about the region, we also take the line into account. So hence this along with the line, this entire thing would be called 2x plus y less than, that is if you consider this whole region, we would have 2x plus y less than or equal to 4 and this region would be 2x plus y greater than or equal to 4. So once again, the region which to the right or left, to the right of the line here in this case does not have the origin. So that is a greater than region and the region which has the origin is the lesser than region. So we have a simple example like this. Now let's take, we have, we did lines which are parallel to the x-axis which are of the format y is equal to some number. Lines parallel to the y-axis which are of the format x is equal to some constant. And we have a line like this, which is inclined to the x and y axis, and it is intersecting the x and y axis. Now suppose you have a line like this, y is equal to 2, 2x, 2x, y is equal to 2x. We can take any arbitrary value of x, you can take x as 0, y is bound to be 2 into 0, which is 0. So 0, 0, 0, 0 is one point through which the line passes. You can take some other point, you can take x as say um, 2, in that case y is equal to 2 into 2, that is y, y is equal to 4. So this point is 0, 4 
and we need to make this line pass through 0 comma 0 and 0 comma 4 so this is 0 comma 0 this is 1 2 3 4 so 0 comma 0 and sorry 2 comma 4 so 2 comma 4 is 2 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 and 2 comma 4 so this line passes like this this line passes through the origin 0 comma 0 and also through 2 comma 4 simple way of looking at it any line that passes through the all such lines which pass through the origin will be of the format y is equal to some number into x and there is no other constant involved and equations like this will be of the form ax plus by and there is a third constant these ones will pass through the origin we'll learn these things more easily naturally so hence if you have a line passing through the origin you have now how do we decide <coughs> this itself as to how to find out the greater than or equal to region so here if you see here we said in these kind of lines that the origin side is the less than region and the non-origin side is the greater than region but here this line is passing through the origin itself there are various ways of doing it one is you can just take some arbitrary value over here to decide say for example this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so it's 9 comma 0 so substitute these values in this so we have 0 and this is 2 into 9 so here if you see 0 is less than 2 into 9 18 so obviously this region that is to this part of it is this region is y less than 2x or 2x greater than y and this region you can take any value maybe 0 comma 9 substitute over here and you get that the other way around so hence this region is y is less than 2x and this region would be y greater than 2x hence we have decided how this region comes it might be a little confusing for the time being. We'll be taking up more examples based on this to really consolidate what we have learned. So basically, in this part, in the last two graph sheets, we understood three types of lines, how to plot the lines, and decide which is the greater region and which is the lesser region. And the more we apply, we learn better and will come naturally to us. Okay? So, let's take a few more examples too so we have the simple graph now how do we apply this let's see let's take to summarize this we have this graph sheet this is yes this is the x-axis this is the y-axis see this example you have a line which is parallel to the y-axis so it is of the form x is equal to 1.5 maybe the distance of 1.5 units from the y-axis to the right of it is the region x greater than 1.5 so to the left of the line x is equal to 1.5 falls the region x is less than 1.5 to the right of it you have x is greater than 1.5 so just a summary of what we did earlier and summary of the other type of line so here we have this line which is going to pass through the origin if you extend it so we have x is greater than y you can substitute some value over here 2 comma 0 maybe so if you take x as 2 and y as 0 you see that x is greater than y so in this region it is x greater than y and here you take some value you could take uh, this maybe x is 0 and y is 2.5 and you see that y is greater than x so on this side you have on this side you have the region where x is less than y and on this side you have the region x is greater than y it's it's not so you you can't just observe it and do it you just have to substitute some value from the x or y axis to decide which is a greater than axis a greater than region which is a smaller than region unlike the line which is intersecting the x and y axis where you can easily decide which is the origin side and which is the non-origin side. So this is a brief summary of finding out how to find the 
greater than side and how to find the less than side. 